Hi, and good day. Which is better, heat or ice for pain? Now, there's many different reasons why you'd want to use ice and why you'd want to use heat. Although, let me explain the main difference. Ice acute, heat chronic. So when something just happens, the body sets an inflammatory response to protect the area. We don't want to put heat on inflammation, ice always. Ice is a vasoconstrictor. It will reduce inflammation, help the body repair, and it is an analgesic to help numb the area. Although, when you use ice, Make sure you have a median, a paper towel, a, a towel between the area that you do not burn the skin because you will not feel that coldness on that skin. You can develop frostbite and burn the skin and get a first or second degree burn. Heat, excellent in the chronic phase after 24 to 36 hours, even up to 48 hours, heat does the opposite effect. It causes vasodilation, brings in lots of blood supply. Uh, great for chronicity, chronic arthritis, heat is excellent. Sprains and strains in, in, in the initial phase, ice. Chronic sprains and strains, heat. We look at gout, excellent with ice. The ice, again, works as an analgesic. Chronic muscular tightness, heat. Generally, moist heat is better. But when we look at heat, heat is very effective on muscles. Ice is very effective on joints. Now, people talk about contrast baths. You can use moist heat and ice combined. In other words, 10 minutes heat, half the amount of ice, five minutes ice, 10 minutes heat, and alternate them, bringing in a vasodilation, vasoconstriction, vasodilation, helps excel the body's healing response. Although, you can just use your imagination, heat or ice, but remember, Ice can never hurt you and heat can because you can use ice on areas that are not inflamed as well. Share this video. If you have questions, please uh, leave them below. I ask you to subscribe if you haven't so you can receive uh, our future videos, hopefully which will help you and our community. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.